Hello, everybody. How y'all doing out there? I wanted to start things off with a song. <laughs> She's lucky. She's so lucky. She's a star. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. She's so lucky. She's a star. But she cry, cry, cry. In her, what the word? <laughs> in her lonely heart, thinking if there's nothing missing in my life. <laughs> missing in my life. Then why do these tears? Tears come at night, fall at night. Who, who? The girls are struggling, y'all. The girls are struggling. Oh, thank you, Brittany. Oh, then why do these tears fall in night? Why do they? Why? Why do they? Hey, y'all. Is it just me? Or is Leo season not hitting the way that it used to hit? Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Friday Live. Hey, 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 we are back in the business. We are back in the business. Okay, I just want to let y'all know that this stream is brought to you by the Patreon Cousins. Patreon.com slash from the internet. All right, let me take this off. Let me, <laughs> let me take, let me take this off so we can get down to business. All right, so this live stream is brought to you by Patreon. My cousin's over at Patreon. Patreon.com slash from the internet. The link is in the video description box if the spirit moves you. And if it don't, that's okay. That's why we got the live stream for everybody. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so over on Patreon, we have, let me show y'all, let me show y'all what we got going on. We have episode one, two, three, <laughs> four of This Might Not Make Sense, which is our exclusive Patreon podcast with my brother, um, hashtag baby blow, hashtag Esteban Del Negrito. Hashtag, he has many AKAs and go through them all <laughs> in, in the podcast. So um, that's what we have going on over there. Uh, we also went live with the Patreon Cousins uh, in July. So that's what we had. We did a Whataburger taste test. We talked about cartoons on a Saturday morning. And those live streams really go for over two hours. Like we are, let me fix this twist. Don't look at my roots, y'all. <sighs> we really uh we really go for the gold we really get into it over on patreon so just want to sh shout out to patreon cousins real quick before we get started all right <sighs> there's boa feathers everywhere how y'all doing happy friday happy furahi day you made it you're here okay i'm here we're here 
Okay. Are we together? We are. You're in a place to be. All right. And hello to everyone who's watching this as a replay. Welcome back. <laughs> Adina says, how you doing, sis? We're going to get into that because the girls are struggling. Okay. We have our notes. <laughs> okay. So, um, oh, we got a birthday. I cannot. Oh my God. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to all my fellow Leos. Happy Leo season. It's, it's the end. It's, it's the end. It's coming to the end. And I have feelings. I have feelings about all of it. Um, hmm, 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 mm, mm. uh, wow. Okay. Before we talk about why Leo season is not hitting, right? Before we get in, into the meat. <laughs> yes. Leo season isn't giving what y'all say is supposed to give. And it's, you know. It's what is it? It's hurting me and my homegirls. It's stressing me and my homegirls. <laughs> um, my birthday was August 1st. Uh, and wow. But anyway, like I was saying, before we can get to a little bit of complaining, you know, a little bit of event session, uh, for those of you who are new here, I just wanted to maybe explain, uh, give some background informations about where we're coming from as Leos, right? Um, we have to know where we began to see where we have landed, okay? To see the mess that we find ourselves in and why it's so distressing in these trying times, why us Leos, why we Leos, are particularly tried, okay? So stick with me. This is for everybody who don't know what I'm talking about. All right, what am I feeling today? Mmm. Yep, yep. Mm. I like that. That works. That could work. Adam, Eve, Jesus. What's your name? Jesus. Give me that one. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep. It's looking good. Just a little bit of this one. Jesus. Get your ass. Get your ass. What else? Um, oh! Uh, um yeah so you know that's that's me <laughs> that, that's where we're at um you know we're working with a lot in some categories <laughs> in some categories where it counts i would argue um <laughs> <laughs> and so in these trying times where we are in the house, you know, where we are trying to take care of one another, where we are, you know what I'm saying, not really, not really letting, you know what I'm saying, this little light of mine, I'm going to what? Let it shine. It's not shining. It's not shining. Even even the introverted Leos, we're struggling. We're struggling. This is freaking boa. <laughs> uh, humility, humility out the window. I don't make the rules. I don't. Clearly, you saw I don't make the rules. It wasn't me. Okay, hold on. Where you went? Where did you go? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, there we go. 
Ho. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I want it. Let me take this off. I'm getting distracted. I'm getting distracted. Oh no, am I out of focus? My camera says I'm in focus. Like the square is on my face. The square is on my face. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. I have more for y'all. I have more for y'all. Okay. Welcome. Welcome to the live. Happy Friday. We in this day. A bit misty. I don't like that. Don't look at my roots. <laughs> Maybe my lens is, uh, maybe my lens is. <laughs> oh, Michelle Watson said, move over and make way for Virgo season. How are Virgos coping when you can't make plans? Riddle me that. Excel spreadsheet. You can't make plans in these trying times. Plans get canceled. <laughs> I'm trying to find something to wipe the lens, but uh, it, it's gonna look like I'm 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 gonna wipe the lens. Come here, come here. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if that did anything. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that did anything. Okay, let's talk about it. I actually polled y'all on, um, <laughs> I actually polled y'all on Instagram um, just to see if I was alone. You know what I mean? I'm like, am I alone in this? Is Leo season really not giving what it's supposed to give? And here are the results, okay? Where we at? There we at. I said, ladies, how y'all feel? Brothers, y'all all right? And what is what is this site? <laughs> I can't even see my own. 69% <laughs> of the people who responded to this poll on my Instagram said, oh, I didn't say, <laughs> I'm all over the place, y'all. Let me take away uh, Michelle's comment. <laughs> I be forgetting. I'm doing this all, all on my ones. There we go. 69% of y'all said that uh, it's a struggle. Leo season has a struggle. And I feel affirmed. I feel validated. I feel like I'm not just imagining the energies. You know what I'm saying? The energies. Because we need a certain energy to thrive. I mean, we all need a certain energy to thrive. But especially when you are fueled by the sun. By, you know what I'm saying? Like, we are ruled not even by a planet, by a star. An actual star. And when you can't express yourself in a way <laughs> that you want to express yourself, <clears throat> it be hitting. It be hitting here. So next poll. I said, did you celebrate though? Did you get it together enough? Did you find a way to celebrate? And I was kind of surprised and happy. 46% um, of y'all, Leo internet cousins, said that you found a way to celebrate. Y'all said, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm happy for you. And I mean, I, I celebrated also, I traveled, uh, wasn't, it wasn't really worth it. <laughs> it wasn't really worth it in my opinion. I think I have two concerts that I want to go to later this year. And after seeing them Lollapalooza pictures, <laughs> I'm just like, how, when, how are we going to do? How are we going to do? Okay. And then last thing, um, and then I asked if you weren't feeling it, uh, was it <laughs> was it pandemic related? And fifty eight percent of y'all said that it was pandemic related. You said it was pandemic related, and then I and then I asked a free response question, right? 
you know, I'm in my um qualitative research bag. I asked some uh, free response questions. And this is what y'all had to say. I picked a couple of my faves. Why didn't you celebrate? Internet cousin said, dog, the planet is going ape shit, and so are the people on it. Every day, every day, people disappoint me. And hey, I might be disappointing somebody else. <sighs> Any given Monday said, oh, is that a... <laughs> That's a boa feather. Any given Monday said, the earth is understaffed. And it's stressful. It it really, really is. Um, if any of my internet cousins out there currently said bleep to their jobs and walked out, I'm proud of you. You know, let us know how we as an internet cousin community can support you. You feel me? Because we're not going back to no to no crappy employment. Okay, no justice, no peace. Yeah. Yep. Ma'am, depression. And we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it all. And this one, <laughs> this is the final one that I'll share. Uh, it is real. It, this is probably the most theoist reason. <laughs> for the season. Birthday outfits not giving what it was supposed to give. Listen, if the fit ain't right, okay, if the math is not mathing when it comes to the outfit, when it comes to the costume, I should say, is what it really is. Cancel it all. Cancel the plans. I remember one time my uh, bestie uh, threw like a surprise party for me and a little part of my brain was like, I would have worn something different. I would have worn something different. <laughs> I came to your house in my PJs, <laughs> but I had a good time. Thanks, Dwayne. Um, okay, let's see where we at. Let's load these new comments. <laughs> oh my gosh future slp this is hitting too close to home because i have a birthday dinner tonight i just can't make myself care anymore you know cousin go to that dinner you know, get you all the appetizers, even the ones, you know what I'm saying, you don't too much like. Get all the dips, dip things and all the dips. Celebrate yourself. Okay? Celebrate yourself. Whew. Happy birthday, by the way. Okay. <clears throat> Y'all have no idea how much boa feathers is all, is all over me. Okay, are you ready? Let's get into it. Here are my reasons uh, for why Leo season is not hitting me the way that I need to be hit. Okay, I was telling my parents this. Uh, I went home recently because it was my dad's birthday. Yes, my father is also a Leo. Um, <laughs> and Steve is a Leo also. And before you feel bad for my mother, she's a Scorpio. She'll be fine. She will be all right. <laughs> um, so anyways, I went home for my father's birthday. And I was telling him, you know, what I did for my birthday and how it wasn't really. He was like, well, what did you want to do? And I was like, dad, I wanted to rage. And he was like, rage? I was like, I want to rage. You know a rage? I wanted to rage. Full on Travis Scott. It's lit. Full on. That's what I wanted to do. I missed it. Are you ready? 
30th birthday came and went. Oh, I turned the decade. I turned the corner of a decade. Came and went. No fanfare. I mean, I did celebrate it with those closest to me. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Closest to me. Once my brother. Four, four people. Well, six people. Because we divided it in two days. Because we didn't want six people hanging out together. That's what it was giving in August 2021. In August 2020. I had to divide my own friend group. Small, small ass friend group. Who? <laughs> so anyways, yeah, I wanted I wanted a rager. I wanted to rage. I wanted to sweat my eyebrows off. How? It's a toss up. I take whatever whatever I can get. Oh, but I couldn't do that. I was telling my dad I, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. So I traveled. I uh, We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let me just start off. Let me just start off with my reasons. Yeah, I'm 31 now. I'm, I just turned 31. Here we are. We are inside. We're inside our 30s. And it's just like, hmm. I could have done a parade. <laughs> a parade would have been nice. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, let's get to it. First reason why Leo season is not giving what it's supposed to give. Here it is. Here it is. Mental health or the lack thereof, if we're being honest. Um, and I've talked about this uh, in previous videos, definitely on Patreon. I What I use Patreon for is my diary. <laughs> Um, definitely on Patreon, definitely in public, you know, YouTube videos. But for me, the pandemic, like I was already struggling before the pandemic. And so it kind of compounded onto that. You know what I'm saying? So the, me the mental health was really not there. Um, I was feeling and am feeling from time to time, real down in the dumps. I'm giving, you know what I'm saying? I'm not giving yellow. <laughs> I'm not giving yellow anymore. I'm very much giving like a, like a, like a, like a trash can green. Like the juices in the, in the trash can green. That's what I'm giving. Mental health. Talking about it in therapy, talking about it with my friends. I've actually, um, the main, like, the main reason, maybe not the main reason, but a big part of my mental health has been being stuck in the house because I was stuck in the house before the pandemic. Uh, and I said that, I've said this a zillion times, I feel like, but in 20... In February 2020, I was looking for jobs so I could exit my house finally. And then the pandemic happened. So I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. My desire to have human interaction. Never mind. And granted, I'm not alone. And I'm not lonely. It's just that daily sense of you know, circadian rhythm, getting up with the sun, going down with the sun, seeing another human being. How do you do? <laughs> that was really missing in my life. And so I thought 2020 was going to be my year to get it back. And then the world said no. So I've been struggling. But the good thing is I recently, in July, I... Um, what's it called? I applied for a residency because 
um, it, the program was providing uh, a space, like a physical space for you to go and do your work. And so I was like, I, I, I applied and wouldn't you know it? Your girl got it. Your girl got it. So for the past two weeks, today's Friday, for two weeks, I have been getting up, showering, on time, in the morning, getting in my car, and going somewhere. It has been, when I tell you, it has... When I tell you things are looking up, things are looking up. So <laughs> that's my first reason. Okay, I'm gonna check these comments out, see if anybody can relate on the uh <laughs> see if any can anybody can relate on the uh mental health tip. Oh my gosh, thanks, y'all. It's so, oh my gosh, that's so nice. That's so nice. Yeah, being really nice to me. And in a lot of the, uh, you know, the free response question box that I put on Instagram, a lot of the responses were, you, y'all were on your way to kind of trying to change your life. And then 2020 happened. And that's really how I feel. And that, that impact on my um, mental health and on all our mental health has been, you know, to, to the Virgo's point, <laughs> it's been a blow to the sense of routine, a blow to the sense of predictability and the ability, you know, to make plans and stick to them, to stability, to um, uh, trust, all them things. And all that goes into mental health. Luis, you are right on time. Let me, I got to say the whole name. Luis Felipe Fonseca Silva. Come on, multiple names. You are right on time. We've only been doing this for like 25 minutes. Okay. Next thing. To, to our same point. To our same point. Oh, sorry. The parallelogram. The parallelogram, we are in the middle of a global parallelogram. You know what I'm saying? The global pandemic. And that has made things a little, uh, not a little, it's made things dicey, okay? And when it comes to the things that I wanted to do in community with people, We can't be in community like we want to. And that impacts Leos very much so. Um, again, I, I wanted to rage. I wanted to rage. And I couldn't rage. The pandemic has also changed how things work it changes how things work it changes and if you want to be responsible and if you have any sort of um feeling you know and if you feel any sort of responsibility for other people's well-being it makes it difficult to um to ignore <laughs> you know what i'm saying i um you know, a guy, I'm I'm Capri, I'm juiced up. I'm I got the Capri Sun vaccine. Um, and I've been wearing my mask. And there was a little time there in the in the early summer of this year that I was like, Do I <laughs> can I take my mask off maybe? Because you know it's summertime, you know, you know what I'm saying? Hot breath, yo hot breath, the atmosphere is hot breath. It's a lot. So I was like, and for a couple weeks, not the grocery store. Don't get crazy. <laughs> Don't get crazy. But in other places, I was like, maybe, maybe I can do this. And then, especially I live in Texas, it was like, do a full 180. <laughs> 
we right back. Right back. We went right back. And I was like, and oh wow. That was a that was a really nice three and a half weeks. <laughs> So yeah, the pandemic, mm. and then <laughs> and then traveling. You know, you want to rage. Me personally, I want to be in the sunshine. I want to be at the beach. I want to be in the ocean. You know, I want to be getting black. B l a q u e. That's what I am always striving for, and. With the pandemic, it's like even if you felt like you were doing all the right things, right? Um, you are juiced up according to your own beliefs. I don't want no drama. Um, you are wearing a mask, you are getting tested, you are you doing all these things, even if you get on that that aeroplane, <laughs> even if you get on that aeroplane, the rules be changing day to day, and now you're stuck in Jamaica. And now you're stuck in Jamaica. You didn't budget to be stuck in Jamaica. I know I didn't. I don't budget to be stuck in Jamaica. Do you budget to be stuck in Jamaica? Can't risk it. Can't risk it. And then I was like, <laughs> and then I was like, maybe I'll go to Galveston. <laughs> Maybe I'll go to Galveston. Stephanie said, two years, no sun. My vitamin D levels is tanked. Tanked, literally. I Today, I went for another uh, checkup, been going to the doctor, had my blood work done, got the results. <laughs> they looked at me like, do you live in a cave? And I was like, yes. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to get out the house. You see this light? There's a light shining on me. This YouTube light shining on me. It's not the sun. What's wrong with Galveston? Basically, I'm making a Texas joke. <laughs> I'm making a Texas joke. Um, Because Galveston is not the ocean. It's the Gulf of Mexico. And the Gulf of Mexico is very much giving me, it's not giving blue water. It's very much giving uh, a taupe. <laughs> it's very much giving taupe water. It's very much giving, where was the oil spill again? But granted, that's where I went growing up, right? So it's like no shade at all. Like that's part of my upbringing, part of my life. <laughs> Galveston can be nice, you know, Port Arthur, Port Arthur? What's the other ones? There's other things, there's other. <laughs> it's giving BP, it, it really is giving BP. Um, yeah, so I would prefer, you know, I prefer the Caribbean, not the Gulf of Mexico. I prefer Propa, Propa Atlantic. Proper Atlantic. Corpus Christi, San Padre. Uh, yeah. So there are there are some options. Um, and I thought I was going to take those options. But I was like, the thing of it is, everyone is going to be taking that option. Club Galveston. And I'm like, it's too much. It's too much. You have all these families struggling to, say, to stay sane in the pandemic. You've been doing, you didn't, you didn't account for doing multiplication tables with your kid every day, logging into Zoom, sharing one computer. So they're all at Galveston. Get out the house. Get out the house. Meanwhile, I'm here like <laughs> trying to party. It's not making sense. It's not making sense. <laughs> oh my gosh thank you so much sasha life 647 i appreciate you i'm gonna get me a 
an adult beverage because I'm an adult. <laughs> so yeah, the pan the pandemic. Uh huh. The parallelogram. It makes it hard to be a vibrant, you know, Leos, we are, y'all saw, y'all saw the skit. We are vibrant. Sunshine, shining, shining. We want to get out there. Be in the mix. Can't be in the mix. Can't be in the mix. Let me show y'all. Uh, let me show y'all what I was feeling. I think now's a good time to share. This is a this is a reenactment. Here we go. That is what Leo season is giving today. On today. That is what it's giving. I'm just sharing. I'm just sharing my truth. I'm just sharing my truth. I want to lage. It's no laging. <laughs> no raging happening. Who... I'm gonna be okay though. <laughs> oh man. Okay. And then let's go to this is a very interesting reason why Leo season is not hitting that I'm about to talk about. And it's it's kind of um it's a forward-looking reason. It's a forward-looking reason, but I think it's a it's a big one. It's a big reason. Are you ready? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. When I really thought in my mind's eye. You be wanting to have a birthday party, people got to sign a liability waiver for a summertime birthday party. I cannot be held responsible for your heat stroke. Hydrate. You gotta hydrate if you wanna come to the function. And that's just not fun. <laughs> can, I, can I tell y'all? It's, it's a downer. How about that? Climate change, a downer. Here in Texas, we had, uh, in February, you might have seen on the news, we had an ice storm, right? And uh, this ice storm uh, was bad. <laughs> it, was, it was really bad. And the way weather works is that uh, as bad as your winter is, is what your summer's going to be. That's what the science was saying. Uh, as bad, did I say that right? As bad as your winter is, that's what your summer's gonna be. So we were like, oh no. If the power go out in the summertime, I'm being 100% serious, people will die. Like people will actually die. You know, I got my little supplies. I got my little supplies because I live in an apartment. So, do they care? <laughs> I live in an apartment. I don't feel like I have any type in Texas. I don't feel like I have any type of rights. Um, 
And so I, you know, prepared, you know, luckily so far, knock on wood, I ain't got no wood around me. Jesus, everybody knock on wood where y'all at. We haven't had a power outage in the summertime as of, as of today. We haven't, uh, I mean, we've had, <laughs> let me not lie. We've had little, whoop, little blips, but it hasn't been anything long-term. Um, there are actually people still homeless, still recovering from the ice storm in February. Okay. So, but luckily when it comes to the summertime, it hasn't been bad. The heat actually hasn't been that bad here. The humidity has been rowdy. Uh, just drinking the atmosphere. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, it's only, it's going, it's going to, uh, get worse. And that is a birthday downer. I mean, do you want a hurricane on your birthday? Cause it's hurricane season. Okay. My brother lives in Houston. Do you want do you want a hurricane? I saw a meme that was like uh it was like the Simpsons or something. And it was like it's the hottest summer of my life. And then it was like wrong. It's the coolest summer for the rest of your life that you will ever have for the rest of your life. And I was like, "Who? Who? I don't like that." Hmm. I don't like that. I don't like that. So climate change, climate change is, uh, isn't, is, uh, even if there was no pan Pandorosa, even if there was no Panasonic. Oh yeah. It's the coldest summer of your life. Yeah. Because in the future, Future summers are going to get hotter. Scientists are saying that in the year 2026, Texas is looking at, did they say 120? I don't know if I, I don't know if I, if I'm saying that correctly, but it's not, but it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Um, Yeah, my bad. Yeah, okay. Basically, it was like, you think it's hot now. This is actually the coolest it will ever be in your future. Oh. It's giving heat waves. It's giving heat waves. I have another live stream planned talking about how I have to leave the South. <laughs> I have to leave the South. I have to go. We'll talk about that at another time, another Friday. Okay. Oh, yes, Mindy. Mm -hmm. Everybody who thinks they avoided, avoided these high temperatures by leaving the South, Washington was hot as hell this summer. Don't make no sense. No sense. You can't even go to Washington. Hmm. Where can you go? Where can you turn to? <laughs> oh, man. So I don't know. That's when it comes to Leo season, right? When <laughs> being ruled, ruled, come on. Uh, being ruled by the sun is one thing. Being engulfed by it, that's not what I was planning. Do you get, do you get what I'm saying? I want to be all the good things about the sun. Bright, warm, sunshiny, inviting. A kiss of warmth on the skin. I don't, I, we're not trying, Leos aren't trying to be heat waves. We, we're not trying to, 
We're not trying to be heat waves. All right. So let's see what else we got. I talked about mental health, climate change, the parallelogram. Um, <laughs> I showed y'all all the things. I did show y'all all the things. All right. Let's take a let's take a quick break. I'm gonna just show y'all, you know, some Patreon stuff. And then when we come back, I have a message of encouragement to wrap things up. Okay? Let's let's get to this. Uh let's take a break. This might not make sense. I don't think that there's a lot of usable meat on us. I think that's the thing. Ooh, baby, do you know that? <laughs> I'm a mom. And that means I have to feed my kids. That's 1-800-BAD-POOP. Don't call me, go and hit the main line like Do you think bugs wait for their kids to get home? Oh, you want some no-no ice cream? <laughs> Life is a journey. <laughs> Make what a burger appear when I think about it here. You can That's do that. Then I'll, That's think, then I'll think about your little Mars. <laughs> your little Mars. This might not make sense. Patreon.com slash from the internet. I have to do my due diligence. I have to. Anyways, um, <laughs> the link to the Patreon is in the video description box. I talked about how um, I used Patreon uh, to talk about my feelings. I have a new series coming up on there called The Plan. Uh, and my brother uploads music. He uploaded a, a, a song and a music video on his birthday. Leo season, birthday. Um and it's really good. <laughs> it's it's really good. So Steve gives gives you music. I give you emotions. <laughs> and together we give you this might not make sense, our exclusive Patreon podcast. Anyway, moving on. Moving on. I would like to wrap this up. We'll talk after this. We'll keep the we'll keep things going. But the last thing that I actually wanted to say is that despite all of this, let me get my costume back on. Let me get, let me get my costume back on. Despite all of this, okay, the venting, how, how is this working? <laughs> the venting, I'm reading the chats, T, yes. Um, I can only read but so much. I am multitasking. Um, despite all of this going on, I just want to remind you, watching, you know how people say it's okay to not be okay? I would like to remind you that it's okay to be okay. Okay? All right? Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I think that when we are collectively going through something, it can be easy to, what? <laughs> it can be easy to want to commiserate. You can, people can even make you feel bad when you're doing good. So you don't want to, you don't want to talk about how you're doing good because there are other people in your area, in the world, in your community that's doing worse, right? So you you want to dim dim your light a little bit. So I'm here, you know what I'm saying? I'm here as the resident Leo. I'm here as your neighborhood Leo to tell you that if none of these things apply to you, go off, sis. I am happy for you. Oh, you have no mental health issues? Love it for you. Rooting for you. Oh, where you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, S. Lloyd. I appreciate it. Yes, people want a trauma bond. It's natural. It's in the medulla oblongata. 
somewhere in the brain. You want a trauma bond. But I'm saying that you don't have to. If you are doing good, mental health good, pandemic fortunately did not impact you in such a fashion. Your family is safe. Your family is kept. K-E-P-P. Your family is kept. Got a new job. Pay you more than you ever would have predicted. School going good. Ain't nobody getting on your nerves. Dissertation defended. Amen. <laughs> Dissertation defended. Oh, some somebody. Oh, oh, who? Oh, oh my gosh. Where you at? I saw I saw a super chat. I didn't want to miss you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty for doing good. This boa is Jesus Christ. <laughs> Don't feel guilty. Mental health doing good. Pandemic. Pandorosa. Not too much really impacting you. Climate change. I mean, it impacts us all. But, let, <laughs> but let's say you don't live in a hot climate. You know what I'm saying? You are easy breezy. It's okay to be okay. Do you. Have fun. Look at that. You better give me joy. You better, you better give me hashtag blessed. Do you hear what I'm telling you? <laughs> you ain't right. You ain't right. <laughs> See, Marie, you ain't right. <laughs> I agree. Come on, come on starting a tech program. Come on, things to look forward to. So that's just a little reminder. Okay, I wanted to, I wanted to remind y'all that it's fun to commiserate. We have a good time. Laugh, 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 jokey joke, joke. But the second you feeling good, say so. <laughs> Let's take this off. That's what I wanted to say. That's what I wanted to end my piece with. All these feathers on me. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I want to say. Now let's chat. Okay. I got a, uh, you know, I got 40% battery. What y'all talking about? <laughs> That's the end of my rant. That's the end of my forceful positivity. Not quite toxic. We're not giving you toxic positivity. Feel your feelings, but when you're feeling good, it's okay to feel good. It's okay. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's what I want to say. Leo season. Uh, I'm happy for everyone. You know, I saw, uh, I haven't watched all of it yet, but I saw Jade Fox's newest vlog. Um, fellow Leo. She looked, she was having a good time. And I was like, that makes one of us happy for you. <laughs> um, toner, <laughs> toner, baloner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, that made me giggle. This shirt. Wow. It's from an illustrator that I follow on Instagram. I forgot the name, but that's my bad. Mel Madiba, I saw that post. Instagram is doing a weird thing where like, I'll see, I'll see something I'm tagged in and then I won't see it anymore, but hopefully it pops up again. Cause I saw it and I loved it. Thank you. And you drew Trevins. 
You do Trevin's the puppet. Trevin's over there. I don't know Trevin's sign. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I have to think about that. I have to look up the day he came. The day I got him. Oh, um, Nia, Nia Johnson. I've been, we've been thinking about making a, on Patreon, you can like, um, do a one time, like a, it's not a recurring charge. You can set it up to, to do that. But you know, I'm not Patreon savvy still, but that is a thing we've been looking into. Hey, 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 happy birthday, Abigail. Happy birthday, Yan Jerry. Jerry. Arania. Aranea. I have to go back to work, but coming in on that rant made me feel great. Mm. Have you a good ass day? Yes, I think. That makes sense. KB illustration for the shirt. I think that's her. I think I think that's her. I mean, since we're here, since it is Leo season, I feel like I want to round things out. I want to get out of here. You know, I don't want to. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. But I feel like I put this on. <laughs> And off so much, but I feel like I want to end things off with a serenade. Do I actually play the piano? Yes, I play the piano. Haven't played it in a while. I have an old video about how I'm revisiting my childhood hobbies. You can search it on my channel. <laughs> That's where the keyboard came from. Mm hmm. Man, I want to keep talking. <laughs> Indy Nola, how was the feedback on the Auntie Monique video? It was fine. I have a very, um, uh, my uh, perspective on feedback is like my way of communicating is to make a video, and y'all's way of communicating is to comment on things. So I don't put too much. Like, if people disagree with me, I'm like, yeah, that's the way that you can talk to me. So some of the feedback was some people didn't agree. And, like, I knew that. I could have predicted that. But I thought all in all, it was great. A lot of people watched it. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, my birthday was August 1st. And uh, Leo season is coming to an end. Our August Virgos are up next. Halise is an August Virgo. Um, I don't know if she put her birthday out there, but she's an August Virgo. Um, so go ahead and wish her a happy birthday when that time comes. Come on in in this room, <laughs> big bird. Come on in to all my Leos. I got to get out of here, but to all my Leos, I just wanted to uh, leave you with a little something, something. Take this with you. Put it in your heart pocket for when times get tough, and they will get tough. They'll get tough, but you can get out of it. Okay, because you're a what? A Leo. Roar. Are you ready? <clears throat> Happy Happy <laughs> Happy birthday uh. to you uh, 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 uh. Happy birthday Come on Vibrato. Until.
you. Mm. Cover your ears. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Dearly. Oh, 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 oh. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. To you oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I am Leo Zay Happy birthday <laughs>